welcome back to D-Law, and we are back in session. Okay, before we get started with all the legal jargon, I want to first talk to you a little bit about my Astros. Astros are kicking butt again this year. We are back in the midst of making another run. We've already won the first series. And I'm telling you, we are absolutely headed back to the World Series. Year in, year out, the Astros are killing it. They're winning. They're extremely successful, a very, a very storied franchise over the last few years. And they put themselves in the position to win. So this year, I think it's going to be different. I'm hoping that we make it all the way and take care of, ish, take care of business with regards to getting, getting it done at the, at the World Series. But regardless of, the, of, of that, it's still going to be a very successful year. We've killed it all year. We're doing well in the world in the in the playoffs. I think we're going to take care of business. Astros, keep doing what you're doing. You're a great franchise, and we're all very proud of you. Okay, so the first bit of business we want to talk about today is to talk about the MTMP, the Mass Tort, one started by Levin Pap Antonio many many years ago. I go to this conference twice a year. The big one is in the fall. The smaller one is at the, in the spring. This was the big show, the big show at the Bellagio. And it was fantastic as usual. You get to go to a bunch of different classes to figure out how you're gonna educate yourself with regards to what's going on in mass torts, uh, the new torts that are out there, any kinds of changes in the law, things that you need to be aware of. And the thing I love about this conference is that you, you educate yourself. You get to immerse yourself with other lawyers that are looking to position themselves with some of the best lawyers in the industry. One of the biggest things that I get out of the conference is kind of the, the el rubbing elbows and getting to associate with some of the guys that I talk to from time to time on the phone. But we get to sit down, have a drink, relax a little bit, and talk about what's going on. Some of the nuances that we may not be able to talk about over the phone. You get to kind of pick people's brains with regards to where the industry is going. Our team, and we take a big team of people to go down there. We go down there from about Tuesday to Friday. And it's jam packed with meetings, discussions. You get, you get inundated with so much information, so much information. And so you have to kind of pick and choose what's real and what's not. One thing that I don't love so much is that it's very, very salesy. And it's very salesy because, again, this is the big conference where people are paying thousands of dollars to, to sit down, to sh share their wares with regards to, hey, this is what I do. Here's what's going on. Here's where I should be a part of your business and how I can help you make money. And everyone's selling, 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 selling. OK, and I get that. Right. But you kind of have to pick and choose and figure out what's good for you, what's a good fit, what's not all those types of issues. And so because of the experience, and again, some of the mistakes that I've made in the past, um, along with my team, we're able to kind of round table different vendors, talk about issues and figure out what kind of new strategic changes we need to make so that we're ready for the new and upcoming year. What are my expectations from a comp for a conference like MTMP? I use this conference as an opportunity to, to brainstorm, to share with my team in terms of kind of what we're looking for, the direction that we want to go in, the things we want to try and do. And so the great thing about it, and I've got such a great team, we go out there and we go get the information and then we come back and kind of huddle up together and figure out what's good, what's bad, what you've heard, what we need to investigate, and then have meetings throughout the rest of the course of that week to see exactly what's what. So we use the MTMP, especially in the fall, to kind of set up our strategy for the rest of the year. So it's a very kind of pivotal point for us because that helps us set the direction and the course for our trip for that next for that upcoming year so again i just think it's it's really important that i don't think lawyers take enough time to kind of step back and figure out what's my strategy too many lawyers are taking the time to kind of wing it let me see what happens let's go and let me do this do that that's crap if you don't have a plan to succeed 
to me, you're kind of planning to fail, okay? You always have to have a plan and start moving in a particular direction or else who knows what's gonna happen. The expectations for us are so high because again, you've got so many important players there that you can make different deals with or have discussions, exchange strategies, and just make sure that you're moving in that right direction. One of the things that I always do is make sure I'm taking time to meet with some of those top lawyers to make sure that, hey, am I swimming in the same directions as, as them? Because many times if everyone's kind of going in one direction and you're thinking another way, you may want to just double check and make sure you're doing things the right way. And I use this as an, an opportunity with which to do some of those things. The main benefits for, for MTMP for me is for us to get with our partners. We have a number of different partners that we work with throughout the country, right? And so this is a great opportunity for us to, to get together, to, while we have our Zoom calls and we get on the phone, to, to, to sit down and bread, break bread with folks that you've got different plans with, that you're working different dockets with, that you have certain ideas with. And so we take that opportunity to, to do those things and to make sure we're all on the same page. It, it solidifies our joint venture relationships. When, with regards to new partners, when I've got new folks that are trying to get involved with regards to mass tours, um, Vegas gives us an opportunity to sit down for them to understand who we are, what our philosophies are, how we think, and to look somebody just straight in the eye so they can kind of assess who you are. Okay, because I'm doing the same thing. You're always kind of sizing people up to see is this somebody I can trust? Is this someone I'm gonna, I wanna be in the relationship with for the next two or three years? Because anytime you're talking about mass tort cases and getting, doing cases in bulk, you have to ask yourself, is this the type of person that I wanna do business with over the long term? MTMP is a great opportunity to, to re-synergize and energize your relationships, okay? So it's a good time for you to sit down with your partners, people that you do joint venture relations business with, to your partner relations, to sit down and make sure that everyone's on the same page. If I've got different joint venture relations, while well, we're able to kind of do the, the Zoom calls and things of that nature from across the country, you know, it's really nice once or twice a year to be able to just to sit down, to, to have conversations, to really size up who your partners are and make sure that you're still of the same, same mindset with regards to the direction of where the litigation is going, understanding different pitfalls. And one thing that's really important to me these days is making sure that I'm working with people that I have a connection with, people that are not just out there just for another quick buck, people that want to make positive changes in the industry, people that are trying to help other folks get better with what they're doing. And that's a big part of it for me now. Um, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a while now. We've, we've created some success for ourselves. We can kind of pick and choose some of the folks that we're doing business with. And I just wanna make sure that the people that we're dealing with have that same type of honesty, that type of integrity, uh, and they're doing things for the right reason. Because if they're just doing out for the money, hey man, go find another vendor. Go talk to someone else that that has that same kind of kill or be killed mentality. Because I'm of the opinion that mass torts is a long-term relationship. These cases sometimes take several years with which to come to fruition. And I wanna make sure that the people that I'm doing business with, that I'm signing contracts with, have that same mindset for me. That when problems come up, and they do come up, that we wanna do things ethically, do things the right way do things that take care of our clients first and worry about the money later. Integrity in this business is, is huge to me because there's so many people that kind of operate below the fray. And I don't want to do business with, that, with those types of people. Your reputation is everything in this business. Regardless of any the, whatever type of law that you practice, your reputation is everything. And, and so you, you need to do everything that you can to make sure it stays as pristine as possible because people are gonna to start to punch at you. They're gonna come at you from time to time. And you just wanna make sure that, that your, your name can withstand some of those punches. It's really important, okay? At least it is to me. 
and it should be to you also. So someone asked me, hey man, is it really worth the investment to go to MTMP? Drum roll, please. Yes, absolutely. Okay, if you want to elevate your game, if you want to take it to that next level, if you want to, to kind of fly with the big boys, this is where it is. This is where it's happening, right? And, and guys, regardless of where you are in your practice, you got to start somewhere, right? Whether it's that introduction to the Jim Adlers of the world or, you know, having dinner with Levin Papantonio. You know, you, you have to start somewhere. That's what I did many, many years ago. And now I find myself very, uh, very fortunate to be one of those folks that people want to come to Vegas to, to meet, and to talk to and to share ideas with. So it absolutely was essential, um, an essential part of our process, but you can't do it lightly, right? You, when, when I first came down to MTMP those first couple of years, I am very focused on the classes and learning and the books and shaking hands with people and making introductions and, and just kind of meeting different folks, right? and just kind of getting my feet wet with regards to what this business is all about. Okay, now I, the, the process has kind of shifted significantly where I have an agenda of sorts. I know the kind of cases I wanna go after. I wanna to go to the, to the classes and get the updates with regards to the law. I wanna make sure that my team meets the right, the, the right people with our, right, with our joint venture partners to make sure, hey, is there systems together? Do we speak the same language? Is this someone that we can be in a relationship for the long for the long term, right? And so I want to answer all those questions with regards to, is this worth it? And MTV provides the opportunity not only to get the education, not only to make those introductions, not only to understand whether this is something that you want to try and do, but it gives you that venue and that opportunity to really focus on the mass tort business, even only for a few days, and make sure it's worth it to you. So I, I, I definitely want to take this opportunity to just to thank everyone that has supported us, people that have already purchased the book, uh, people that have that flew in to, to spend time with us, to hang out, to give some high fives, give your criticisms. Look, I want to know the good and the bad with the book, I do. I want to thank everyone for showing up, for giving their opinions, for providing their input, and for just letting me know that you appreciate the work that we've done in putting this manuscript together. So I've spent a whole lot of time talking about what this wonderful party's been like. Why don't you take a look and see what you think for yourself. Okay guys, so you've seen D-Law and you see what we've been trying to do. But I'd like to know, what do you want us to do? What's your feedback? What do you want to see? What do we need to do differently? Give us your feedback, your comments, your thoughts with regards to what needs to happen for the future of this show. We appreciate you and we thank you for listening and watching and tuning in. Talk with you again. This is D-Law.